but the homeless side is the people who care way too much about fashion. This is that right here, but instead of the clothes heading to impending doom, they're getting saved by guys who go to Burning Man. You need to be on mushrooms if you think this fit is hard, bro. Nails on it? That's actually disgusting. What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the current state of fashion right now, the meta. That's right, we're going to be talking about what got buffed, what got nerfed, what needs to be buffed, what needs to be nerfed, what's absolutely broken, and everything that's wrong with fashion right now. So let's get into it. Starting off, and we need to have a very serious talk about this, has the vintage game, has the thrifting game gone too far? Let's find out. Four, three, two. So as we can see, we got the 10,000 pound vintage bulk sale. All I gotta say is what is this homeless core? I genuinely don't even know what to start with. Nothing against homeless people though, just more from like a hygienic standpoint though. At a certain point, I feel like we gotta ask ourselves like, is this too far, you know? Cause you got like, thrifting getting second hand clothes is pretty solid you know that's the perfect way to do it but then you got something like the bins uh the bins are a little questionable i it's like a good very cheap second hand clothing option from a hygienic standpoint like all i know is i haven't been to the bins since one time i was there and i found a used condom in the pocket Let me tell you, ever since that day, I have not been the same. Like, dude, I feel like scarred for life. Bro, the smell in there, the smell at the bins, just this, the stuffiness in the air. I don't know if I could do it anymore. I'm like past my prime, bro. I'm like Stephen A. Smith. You know how they be commentating the old heads in the game, all the NBA stars who've done their time, they did their thing, and now they're commenting on the game. That's like me when it comes to the bins, you know? I might be retired from that life. I do not get one fast, two fast, red fast, blue. I want Iguadala. That's right. And I know what that sounds like. And it's not fair to Steph because so much defensive attention is paid to him. And I'm not saying Steph's not a better shooter. He's a way better shooter. Iguadala's got ice water in his veins. Iguadala is that type of player. Let me give you some. But besides that, besides like the, the condom thing, the bins are fine. They're solid. But this. This is when, this takes it to a whole nother level. This is kind of when you gotta start asking yourself like, what am I doing here, you know? Is this even clothing, bro? These are like bed, these are used bed sheets or something. Talk about the condom I found in my pocket. How much is in these bed sheets, bro? Like how deep down the rabbit hole do we need to go? They're treating it like a competition, like the Olympics right here. Look at him, bros, bros, this is the fastest bro has probably ever ran in the past few years. I'm not gonna lie. They're filming it with the whole Rode mic Panasonic combo. This setup right here has got to cost of at least maybe a few thousand setup. Bro, it looks like a professional. Oh, yeah. Keep the crowd work, though. Keep the audience. A lot of Converse, old school vans, boots. Let's just say the audience is very diverse, if you know what I mean. These guys, the, maybe the reason why they're here is because they spent all their money on some, on some coffee, on some cigs, on some patchwork tattoos on going to an emo show, the in order to get new clothes, they have to resort to other means, you know? I, I could respect the hustle, I could respect the grind. Bro is probably sweating, he's putting in that work. But like, from a hygienic standpoint though, imagine the smell of this event. Oh my gosh, all over nut rags, bro. This is what I'm saying. When do the nut rags end? What did he pay to pick? Especially vintage pieces, vintage clothing, textiles go for a lot. Vintage clothing and textiles might go for a lot, but you gotta think about the amount of sweat that's in those clothing, in those textiles. That price is not a lot, my boy. Not one dark shit you've ever seen in sight. You know, you're not wrong. You know what that reminds me of, though? You know how people say, like, you know how there's, like, like white people things to do, like, when you nod, when you're hiking. Feel the rain on your For dark shaded people, I guess, I don't know why they use it like that. But for dark shaded people, I guess you got like cookouts, you got like. I'm honestly just yapping at this point. This seems like it's like some Ohio Midwest type of events, but the people 
look like they're like some LA locals, you know? This is honestly just sad. At a certain point, I feel like you just gotta think like, maybe enough is enough. But I will say that does bring me to my next point, the bell curve. Now, as you can see here, we got the bell curve. And this is kind of the spectrum that fashion is in right now. Now, obviously this goes for more than just what's right here, but I feel like this fits 90% of fashion right now. Starting off on the left-hand side at the end, we have the NPCs. You guys all know what NPCs are. Now for this one, I'm just talking more about like, just people who don't care about fashion in general. That's kind of the end on this spectrum. Going more to the middle though, we have your local Joes. Now these are, in terms of everyone, just in pretty much in the middle. Local Joe, it's in the name. These are your average, local, typical guys, your regular guys, your normal Bob type of guys. In the very middle of the fashion bell curve spectrum though, we got your average thrifter. Now this is kind of just a title. It doesn't, you don't have to be a thrifter to be in your average thrifter. Anyone who's semi into fashion, 90% of you guys, this is where you guys are gonna be. These guys that say maybe like few times a month they go thrifting, they got some cart hearts, they've got some baggy jeans, they're trying to find the affordable pieces, they're shopping on TikTok shop, buying the weekday jeans. Bloodiest thing a man can wear? This is very, very specific, but if Weekday, Astro Loose Baggy Jeans. Oh. These guys know the basic rules. They probably got some cropped shirts. They just got the look down. But then over here, a little more into the spectrum, we got the creative brand designers. These people are kind of more producing than consuming. Honestly, these two are kind of whatever, but I'm mainly trying to focus on this side of the spectrum. Opposite of the NPC, the NPC people are the people who don't care about fashion at all. But the homeless side is the people who care way too much about fashion. These guys are doing the most. These And the reason I titled it homeless is because they're doing so much that it pretty much looks homeless. Example A, bro, this is what I'm saying. When you get too into fashion, bad things can happen. Man, you know, all uh... I worked with this little government branch called like Monsters Incorporated. I was like, scare the shit out of little motherfucking kids. Yo, hold up. No, that's that's pretty funny. The resemblance there is is kind of crazy. I know it's like for the for the shock factor. There is no need, dude. The Roblox fuzzy wheat boots. Hey bro, I wanna know what you wearing today, bro. Last time you switched, let's start from the shoes. Let's go up. You call me a white day, but uh, oh, just to come a little bit up. Yeah, believe it or not, it might come as a uh, surprise, but I am completely sponsored by Taobao. Oh, okay. Everything here is from Taobao. Look at the drink bottle. Yeah, yo, wait, wait, what is that? What is that drink? What's that green liquid? Find Taobao, thirty dollars probably. Okay, dude, give me a deal. And this is like a fake rip, but like, what is going on here, bro? Once you get armor pants, another fifty dollars from Taobao. Okay, and then, and then this, then this is an apple. Then these guys, they're wearing shit that comes from piles like this. They're wearing literal trash, bro. Literal trash. This right here, you know, you guys ever seen Toy Story? I think it's Toy Story three. That scene from Toy Story 3, when the toys are in the trash, going down the thing to get completely burnt. This is that right here, but instead of the clothes heading to impending doom, heading to get incinerated, they're getting saved by guys who go to Burning Man. Hello, bozo. Where's your kid now, Sheriff? No. No. And the reason it's kind of homeless is because when you think about it from like a, a race standpoint, let's say 99% of the people are in the middle, right? But at the front, the trendsetters, you would call it, these people are literally taking the trends from homeless drip. From homeless drip. It's kind of like dressing ugly on purpose to be different, to call it more fashionable, be like unique. Oh my gosh, I'm so creative. No one's doing it like me. I'm dressing homeless and it's cool. All right, guys, let's play Bit Pick or Homeless. Ready? Follow along here. Okay, starting off, we have this flowy like sand vendor type outfit. What do you guys think? Bit pig or homeless? Okay, and the answer homeless. You hate to see it. I will admit, though, this bit is fire in like a Jedi sand vendor desert type of way. But next up, bit pig or homeless? This one might be a tough one. Okay, and the answer is Kanye. Who would have expected that one, am I right? Somebody get this man some rick. Okay, and finally, here we have a very interesting one bit pig or homeless? Okay, and finally, for the grand reveal. Probably both. Huh? They do not know. We do not have enough information on these clients. This may or may not be a panda. Therefore, in conclusion, you know this inflation is bad when it's gotten to this point. And also, why is a homeless man drippier than Kanye? And who made this inverse panda shirt? And where can I get one? Thank you. All right, next up, let's talk about smoking as an aesthetic. Mr. Tambourine Man, play us 
I, th I know it's talking about like this song, but it's kind of like wearing all black, going to a coffee shop, trying to be mysterious, smoking, and just like trying to like look, look cool, look aesthetic. There's a difference between trying to do that and that's just like who you are. But I want to talk about smoking as an aesthetic. Now, pretty much my thesis on this here is this look is sick. Like I get, I understand the appeal, right? But if you think that in order to achieve this type of vibe, this type of aesthetic, you have to live in New York and smoke at a cafe and drink coffee and like be mysterious, then you're absolutely like. If you think that in order to achieve this, that you have to smoke to be cool, then you're an idiot. All right, I looked up smoking as an aesthetic just to see what would pop up. What are the aesthetic effects of smoking? Premature facial wrinkling and facial aging. So let's just say that for all my looks maxers out there who are trying to participate in this trend, um, smoking as an aesthetic is not for you. I feel when I put on my car or jacket, it's a lifestyle, not just an outfit. The thing is, you don't need to smoke for this type of vibe. If you're smoking to try and achieve a look, to try and achieve an aesthetic, that kind of brings off like the same vibe as there's a show. I don't know what it's called, but I'll pull up a clip. DJ, calm down. Sup, D Rock? Yo, let me lay some my dogs. I'll be right down. Derwin Jubilee the third. Are you ready for school? Yes, father. I'm lacing my shoes. I'll be right down. He's such a perfect young man. Okay, father. I'm darting off to pursue my educational prowess. I'll see you later. Bye. Yo, what's up, B? How you feeling? What's going on, yo? Let's bounce, son. The only people that are thinking that you're cool when you're doing this is like bisexual girls, probably got a nose piercing, probably got like an ankle tattoo of a heart of a star. Okay, I didn't really go on a full rant right there, but basically just like, you don't need to pretend to be something that you're not to be cool. Like right now we have people more famous than actors, making more money than rappers, than athletes, just by sitting in the room, talking, talking the chat, streaming, saying, hey yo, that's crazy. Yo, she got, she got a W got, yeah. Sticking out your yacht for the Rizzler. You're so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. I just want to be your Sigma. Freaking come here, give me your Ohio. All right, enough yapping about that. Did anyone else see this Drake fit pick that dropped? Um, the Chrome Hearts King, the Sir Drakeith Graham, Milady Energy. You know what would be crazy? This would absolutely be insane. I would have so much joy in my life if the opium aesthetic type of vibe turned into some night medieval drip, wearing like <laughs> chest plates, wearing like gauntlet gloves oh my gosh and capes bro that would be so amazing we need to make that happen what are you doing if i drop a fit pick wearing a chain mail chest plate a little i got a little shield going i got some gauntlet gloves oh my gosh i have blast protection for prop for it's definitely an old picture i don't know i said new picture but like this thing needs to be revived we need to bring back this type of drip okay over 150 years old levi's were found and valued at around 300k. Are you paying 300k for these? This is absolutely wild. Now, let's talk about a few things here. Okay, 300k, you might think like, damn bro, inflation is crazy now. And you're not wrong, but inflation isn't the problem here. And obviously it's not the problem. It's kind of like an art, like look at the way she's staring at it. She's like, wow. You know, when you're walking around the museum, you got like the, the grandpa looking at art pose with your hands behind your back. You're walking around peacefully, walking around calmly, just admiring the artwork. This is this right here. Now, the reason these are valued so much is because they're basically artwork. As a matter of fact, like you think clothing prices are crazy now. You think people are scamming on Depop? You know who are the real scammers? The artists, bro, the artists are actually the real scammers. Think about it. If something like this is like 300K, this thing is timeless denim. Ooh, timeless denim. You know what's not timeless, bro? Like maybe a year ago, I was at an art museum and there was literally a red framed canvas. It was just blank canvas. Nothing was on it. And it was just painted the color red. That thing was worth thousands and thousands. You can't really just make anything and call it art. Boom, the price is going insane. All right, before we talk about these jeans though, let's talk about the handler's fit. Now, bro has come on his shirt. Not actually on his shirt, written on his shirt. But this kind of gives off like, you know in middle school, 
It's the last day of school. Hold up. Got to got to look more sophisticated, you know? It's the last day of middle school. Everyone's signing yearbooks. And then you got that kid who maybe he didn't get a yearbook. Maybe he just wanted to be different. But he's like, you know what? Just sign my shirt. So everyone's signing his shirt. Everyone's writing hags, writing their phone numbers so they can link up during the summer. And then you got that one friend, bro. It's always, it's always that one kid. And he draws a swastika on your back. And you're like looking over like, you're like, the f*** are you doing? Like, what are you doing? So you get mad at him. He's like, oh, uh, swastika. Uh. And then he's like, oh, no, look, I can fix it. And he fixes the swastika by making it a window. That scenario is this right here. Now, instead of the swastika, bro has come and a mushroom. I'll tell you right now, you need to be on mushrooms if you think this fit is hard, bro. Hello, bozo. Who let this man wear this? Why is he wearing this handling $300,000? I know it's not that deep, but like, bro, we're getting in, we're making it that deep. If you think about it from like a museum art aspect, the people who are handling the art are always dressed up. They're always suited up. Like those people, the people who are just like walking around suit and tie for hours and hours in their day, they're always suited up. They're always fitted up and they're not even touching the art. Bro is touching the art and he's dressed like a painter. I feel like this man saw the painter look and he's like, oh shit that's sick like they wear all white and and sometimes they get paint on their clothes but like it's the aesthetic it's the vibe like it's cool yo like that vintage look you know that used workwear look this is what this guy thought he was doing but then it's not that serious like we're we're talking about these jeans at the end of the day these are actually crazy i think like the backstory the lore of it somebody died in a coal mine with these on 300k is insane but if you think about it from like a artistic standpoint it makes sense i'm not hating on it proceeds to say that after it should not it for like five minutes i have nothing to say about these i think the fuzzy furry boots trend is kind of getting out of hand kind of getting out of hand i don't think it really looks that cool like people wear them with uh where those things leg warmers i don't think the aesthetic is that cool everyone in the comments is saying they're fire but i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't know about them i think to truly be able to evaluate them i gotta see them like with a fit you know this is what i'm saying bro i think they're kind of getting out of hand toe shoes and toe socks are the ugliest footwear just by looking at it it makes me physically uncomfortable Crocs are right behind them up there. For something like this, I don't think it's the toe aspect. I think it's more about the fur. Okay, this is actually vile, bro. Nails on it? That's actually disgusting. If this was furless and they were like some like, some Yeezy scuba boots type of vibe, I wouldn't hate it, honestly. I just, I don't like the fur. Opium bird type fit, bro. Yeti vibes. Next up, the collab that no one expected. ASAP Rocky, Burger King. Now, this is definitely not real, but like, ima imagine if something like this was real, that would just be embarrassing. Burger King might be the worst fast food out there. Burger King is at the bottom of the list for sure. It's not even close. I don't know what would be like next to it, but. I think this is a great place to end off at. What can I say? I smoke the way my brain. 